Hello guys, this is Farzad Shahband from visualcomputer.net Welcome to my channel and uh, during this tutorial I am going to talk about OpenCV CUDA uh, As you know, OpenCV can work very well with both GPU and uh, CPU But in some cases GPU is much more better and uh, you can have a very better per performance uh, by using uh, GPU instead of CPU uh, this is my first lesson and it will be very short. I'm going to talk about the uh, CUDA device information and also running uh, your uh, OpenCV with CUDA uh, with uh, Visual Studio Code uh, and also we will talk about how to compile uh, Visual Studio Code uh, with C++ here. Uh, I'm going to C++ as you see uh, in the background and let's get down to work. Okay, uh, as you see here for uh, using uh, the OpenCV with CUDA we should uh, load some libraries as you see here the from the uh, OpenCV2 slash core you should uh, load the CUDA.hpp and after that, I uh, have some namespaces here, std, cv, and CUDA also. Because we want to use OpenCV with CUDA. Forget, forget about the OpenCV with uh, CPU. Uh, here we should use some special libraries that it is provided but by uh, NVIDIA for the uh, GPUs. Okay, uh, in the main block, uh, I'm going to find out what is my device. You can do it uh, in two uh, methods. The first one, as you see here, is OpenCV CUDA info in, uh, for device number zero, uh, which is uh, my first uh, GPU. I uh, only have one GPU here. If you have uh, two, three, or four GPUs, you can change it to zero, one, two, three, or more. And uh, also you can have uh, some um, short information about the CUDA device. As you see here, the uh, command is uh, here. Uh, let, uh, let us uh, do it um, first by the very short uh, information about our device, as you see here. And uh, after that, uh, I wrote here, hello world. Uh, let uh, let us build it. Okay, this is my binary file here by the name of rooster, as you see here. Uh, to run it, I type uh, rooster. Okay, as you see, my device number zero, which is uh, the first GPU, is NVIDIA GeForce RTX. 3060 laptop GPU and uh, other information here in the background. Uh, let us change it to this one. This is the complete uh, information about uh, our device. Let me build it. Okay, this is uh, the, the, the binary file. Let me run it another time. Okay, let me make it bigger. Okay. Here it is written CUDA device query runtime API. And uh, this is the device number zero, GeForce. And uh, a bunch of information about your device is written here. Okay, uh, the first lesson is uh, ended here, but uh, let me uh, describe some information about how I uh, compile my file uh, with OpenCV with uh, uh, CUDA here. Uh, it is especially uh, described for the uh, Visual Studio Code. You should have uh, three files here in the VS Code uh, it is hidden. It is a hidden file and uh, hidden folder. Sorry, and uh, below this uh, 
VS Code, you can see task.json, open it, and uh, you can type everything I uh, used here for your device, but uh, let me describe it a bit for you. This is a type CPP build, it should be like this. This is a description, uh, as you wish, for example, because I am using a GCC 10.4, I wrote it for myself to know uh, when it is r running it will be written here uh, that I am uh, building it with uh, which uh, which uh, version of GCC and here uh, I wrote uh, a command uh, which is the G for the GCC because my GCC 10 is in the bin folder I used here uh, you may use a GCC 9 11 12 or everything you want but uh, I prefer to use the 10 10th version and the pre presentation here you should uh, use something like this these uh, three uh, lines here if you use them uh, it will close the, uh, mm, the window here in the terminal and clear it and uh, show uh, reuse message is false here if you do not uh, use them let me delete them and uh, save it for you and uh, let me come here build it another time okay if you don't use those uh, lines you can have the uh, information that you used in building the file in here because i don't want uh, them to uh, show it uh, over uh, times uh, many times i preferred to uh, use these lines let me save it uh, to not to show them every time in the arcs you should write these lines because i'm using a, a standard 20 c plus plus 20 version uh, i used uh, std equals to c plus plus 20 and uh, the p thread uh, should be here and also the output file i use the uh, the rooster name as you see here uh, i want uh, always my uh, output files to be the rooster and uh, the o3 is here and uh, these two lines you should use them sometimes uh, you should uh, use uh, dash lm i didn't want uh, it here but in some cases uh, you should use uh, the uh, dash lm to compile the, your file uh, correctly and uh, here it is uh, written options cwd and uh, problem matcher i use gcc and uh, these these are the other ones okay and uh, about the uh, other JSON file which is a CPP properties JSON file you should configure it as I used here this is the workspace that uh, you, you should use uh, in, with two stars and to use the OpenCV you should use this command maybe your uh, OpenCV4 is uh, not in the, in, in the local file it means that it is uh, something like here okay uh, be careful about this uh, to correct it uh, and uh, for other parts I, uh, I use the standard uh, 20 for C++ and uh, also I use the Linux UCC x60 because my uh, computer is x60 if you are on the AMD you should use AMD or if you are on ARM you should use ARM be careful about this matter and uh, this is the end uh, and about the J setting here uh, it is not that much impo important uh, yeah, it is um, it will be made by the visual studio code uh, automatically and you do not want to uh, build it by your by yourself okay this is this was the first lesson and in this lesson uh, we, we we are familiar with, with uh, printing the CUDA information
for the for our device and uh, in the next videos uh, we are going to teach the using the uh, OpenCV with CUDA. Thank you very much. See you.